Hi everyone, Connor McDonald here with another episode of Ask Tom TV. Before I get started, don't bag me for wearing an Ace Director shirt. I know I'm not an Ace Director anymore, uh, but it's pouring down with rain outside and it's wash day. So everything's on the line, so the good old Ace Director shirt has come out from the second shelf. Today we're going to touch on something I presented at the Sangam conference uh, just a couple of weeks ago. I was doing a talk on hints and tips, and one of the hints I did was a thing called the SQL plus hash command. And you can see from the example there, it looks like you can sort of embed code uh, within your normal SQL code. And people put this slide up on Twitter just as a, a flat picture, and it creates a bit of concern as to people are saying, well, that's not going to work because it's not going to compile, or there's going to be errors. So I thought we'd do a little video to help explain what I mean. These are not commands that you actually store in your source code. What they are is it's to simulate as if you were actually writing some code. I'm in SQL Plus, I'm busily typing away, and then toward the end of this piece of code, I think, ah, oh, when I run this, and let's say it's going to run for, say, 25, 30 seconds, ah, oh, I forgot to turn server output on. So when it runs, I'm not going to see anything, even though I've got a DBMS output command in there. So the hash command is a way of just slotting in a SQL plus command and to be run right there and then, and then you can resume uh, your editing. So it's not actually storing it in that anonymous block or in a stored procedure. It's just a way of in the middle of your line buffer in SQL plus to go, oh, I need to run something in SQL plus. It could be clear screen, it could be set server output on as the example we have. It could be anything. Uh, another example I'd like to think of is if I'm doing you know, select star from the employee table, and I'm about to do a where clause predicate, but I can't remember the columns. Well, I could just abandon that query right there and then and do a describe, or I could fire up another SQL plus window and do another describe. But why not just do a quick describe right there in the editor as I'm going, I can see the columns that I need to go, and then I can pick the column I want to use for my where clause predicate. So quick video here just to show you that it's not actually something that we store in our SQL or store in our PLSQL. It is actually just a way of jumping briefly out to the SQL plus command line, running something, and coming back in. That's all for Ask Tom TV this year. Have a safe holiday season. We'll see you in 2018. Cheers.